Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a very specific topic, which is graduate school application. Have you ever found yourself pulling your hair out because you're so stressed over graduate school application? This video is for you and make sure to watch until the very end if you want to hear about the step-by-step -step application tips and also timeline that I personally use in my experience to apply to graduate school. So keep watching if you're interested. Okay, so in the spring before your application is due, so for example, if your application is due in fall of 2022, during the spring of 2022, you want to think about which school you want to apply to and you want to create a spreadsheet to show which school you're interested in, the cost, everything, to make yourself less stressed and also to see visually like which school you want to apply to. Just have a general idea, you don't have to be too like specific. The next one is the big thing, money. Money, okay. It's all about the money, 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 man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's not cheap. So you need to actually save money for application. Um, yeah, so each school has its own application fee and it's kind of, I don't know why, man. It's like you apply to the school that will reject you and you need to pay $85 for that school and you make them richer. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know uh, the components, I'm going into the components. And there's a lot of components, okay? So make sure to sit back, get some coffee and like relax because like it's gonna blow your mind. Components, there's essays, which I really hate. So there's like statement of purpose, why you wanna go to the school. Okay, what do you have in yourself that's unique? You just bullshit some stuff. And then you have your essays, supplemental essays, more essays. And then you have also sometimes some school require multiple essays, like three short, short essays or 50 words essays. And then you also have your resume, you also need to have your transcripts, you also need to have your test scores, you also need to have your letters of recommendation. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Okay, so now let's break down the components. Alright guys, my friends, have you grabbed your coffee, your tea, whatever, because it's gonna be stressful. No, I'm joking, okay, yeah, so first of all, you want to make sure you take your test first, okay? If your schools require you to take the standardized test, which is this freaking annoying GRE, Okay, link in the video here where I discuss my GRE at home experience and how, how to take the GRE. So take the GRE if needed. Okay, I know some schools with the GRE. So if all the schools you apply to with the GRE, why are you taking the GRE? You don't have to take the GRE because it's freaking stupid. Okay, so do not take the GRE if you don't need to take the GRE. If you need to take the GRE, you take the GRE. And you force yourself through that hard, annoying process. But you will be done soon, so don't worry about it. So. Make sure to take it if you need to. That's the first step, okay? And take it during your summer of the year that you want to apply to. So for example, okay, if you're applying to grad school for the fall of 2022, you want to take your GRE summer of 2021 because you don't want your GRE to interfere with your fall 2021 classes because it's going to be very annoying. So just study, get it out of the way for the summer and then enjoy your fall semester. But also, don't take your GRE too early because your GRE expires in 5 years, okay? That's how they get you to spend more money and waste your time. <laughs> okay guys, the next tip is letters of recommendation. Hmm, who should I ask for letter of recommendation? So, make sure you plan out who you want to target, okay? Your target professor that you want to ask, okay? I asked mine at the end of the spring semester. So I'm applying to fall 2022. So I asked during spring of 2021 before the professor gets bombarded with freaking uh, so many students asking for letter recommendation. So you want to make sure you're early in asking and then get a yes response from the professor. Okay, because I know a lot of uh, stories of uh, my friends. Um, you know they ask late and then they they're freaking out because they didn't get a response. So just ask early. All right, ask early and um, save yourself some stress. Mm. Okay, next component is your essays. Essays. I don't like essays. Okay, essays. That's what gets you into grad school. Okay, everyone has the same GPA. Imagine everyone has the same GPA. 4.0. Wow, good student. Oh my gosh, the essay is what pops out and say, oh, this is you. You know what I'm saying? This is your story. So your essay is the most annoying part, but it's also the most important part to like nail it down. Don't say, I always wanted to be a dentist. Why? Why? When you're born. When you cry, you want to be a dentist. No, you don't always want to be something. That's what I read in this book. Okay, graduate school admission. I used this book to um, help me to write my um, essay. Blah, blah, blah. This is a very good book. I recommend this book. This is not affiliated, by the way, in any ways. But I really recommend this book by Donald Asher. 
So this book actually helps you uh, to draft kind of your like, personal statement, what to include in this personal statement, and also remember that your first personal statement will be complete bad, it will be garbage, okay? I remember my first personal statement, I don't know what to write, I was just so stressed, I don't want to even get started, I don't even want to get look at it. So I had to just write garbage. So I just wrote, I just sat in my desk and just forced myself to just think about any garbage that I need to write. So I just write down a bunch of words that are related to what I want to say but I don't need to kind of like think about how to draft it in a beautiful way because I'm just writing my first draft. First draft is supposed to be bad, okay? It's okay, your first draft is bad, it's fine because that's how you tune your essay and make it better every single time you rewrite it. So make sure to use your school's um, writing center or whatever. Go to them and ask them if there's any like errors or there's any like things you need to improve. So I went there like multiple times to ask if there's anything I need to improve and then they really give me good pointers. So make sure to use your school's resources for that. And also tell a story, okay? Tell a story why, what makes you want to be in grad school and why you want to pursue that profession and that area of study. Next is resume. You want to make sure you polish and update your resume. I know resume is something that we all look past, but why? You need to always update your resume. I know I'm guilty of this. Sometimes I'm just like, whatever, I just send this. <laughs> but you no, know, graduate school, you, you want to update your resume, make sure it's looking good. So use your uh, school's again, career center or whatever your school has resources to like look over your resume and see if it's good. You know, you don't want to like submit a resume that's like bad and you think it's good you know what I'm saying so you want to use the resources in school see if it's fine and then um, polish it make sure it's up to date and then send it over now I'm gonna give you tips on how to maintain your sanity and not go crazy because I know that this process is very annoying very tedious and it requires a lot of brain space okay it requires a lot of uh, mental being to be able to pull through this uh, graduate school application process because I know it's a lot of stuff step by step oh my god it's a lot of like overwhelming process so in order to make this process less overwhelming you need to create something like a checklist so what I recommend is you create a google sheet and then put the name of the university you want to apply to when is it due do you require a GRE how much does it cost and then um, create a spreadsheet and also another separate spreadsheet to uh, keep track of what you need to do exactly so you need to um, the seven components make sure you write it down and then have a checklist so if you check it off then you feel good good about yourself right so break it the big process the big giant monster down into small monsters that doesn't look so scary so yeah the trick is to just break it down into smaller pieces and so then you don't overwhelm yourself and then my number two tip to not be crazy is to just write one good personal statement and then use that personal statement and tailor it to each school. Okay, remember to make sure that you include the correct school that you're applying to. Don't be applying to like St. John's and then like running in your statement, oh, I want to go to Columbia University when you're applying to St. John's. Okay, please don't make the mistake. So make sure you tailor it according to each school, but use the same template that you use because that's what I did. And then it just saves me a lot of stress because I just need to like freaking use my brain juice to write one good statement and then use that to tailor it to each school. And I know this whole process can seem very overwhelming, but trust me, that you will get through it. So you are here today. Remember how many challenges you had in the future that you already got past and that's what made you be here today watching this video. And also um, graduate school is a blessing. So just think about it as like, it's a huge blessing and think about this hurdle as something to be grateful for, I guess. But remember that this is a huge mountain to climb, but you will get on the other side of the mountain like me today and I honestly thought that I would never get past that process because it's just very stressful but I got past it and I'm here giving you advice on how to not be stressed out because I know exactly how the feeling of being stressed out in that position is so trust yourself that you'll get through it and do the best that you can and just hit the submit button when you're ready and just pray for the best. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and make sure to like and subscribe if you find value in this video. 
and I hope to see you in the next video and make sure to crush that application process and just do the best that you can I'm rooting for you yay okay make sure to yes enjoy your life and I'll see you in the next video bye bye